Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to be trying to put these rollers, one on each side, onto this trailer so the boat will, will load easier. Uh, there'll be some fabrication involved in this. And the number one tool that you're going to be using is up here. Because there's so many different ways these can these can be put on. I'll show you how I'm going to do this one but you know you got to use your mind and uh, try to figure out how it's going to be so stick around let's see if we can get these put on today okay guys so I've been looking at this and if I put, you know, that bolt's gonna have to come out there. It's no biggie. If I put these here, they're gonna be a little too high. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to move the rollers down a little bit to match my boat. So what that's gonna involve is just taking these bolts out, these two bolts. I can't see what you guys are seeing there. That bolt and that bolt out. And I'll lower this down where I need it to be. I'll mark it and then drill two more holes and bolt these on where I have to have them. So, first thing I gotta do is get that bolt out there. There's one on the other side. What that was at one time, there was like an eye here. And you'd hook something to, to tie your boat off or, you know, to strap your boat onto the trailer so which I just usually come around the back like I said this is not the right trailer for this for this boat so I'll have to I need to eventually extend the boat out or extend the trailer at least 18 inches I think 18 inches will put me where I need to be on it so I gotta get that boat out and do some measuring and I, I think once I lower that that roller down a little bit, I think it'll be all right, and it should put my roller about this far back, which should be plenty just to guide the boat up on. I think it'll help out a lot. So let me get some tools and let's get started on this thing. Uh oh, all boats moving. Uh, get this thing on a jack. Okay, now this is one case where I don't care if this bolt breaks off, because nothing's going back in there anyway. So, This is what I did. Stuck this on like that. Gave me more leverage. And if that didn't work, I would have just got the impact out. different ways you can put them and uh, I'll show you here real quick all right now this will go on like this to be now you can either you 
clamp these on at a crisscross. And of course, this one would go something like this. And then this one goes over top of it. Like that. Or let's say let's say you've got a a cross member that comes up and down. You can you know go like that. One on each side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these put on here loosely and then we're gonna go from there so let me get you set up at a different angle There's no lock washers on these things. They got these nylocks. A little bit of nylon around there. And once you screw that, screw that up on there, it makes the nut really tight. It won't back out on you. Not sure what they what size they are. Let's see. Could it be? Well, I'll be darned. Cool. You got your... See, there's... I, sh I could have just showed you this picture two different ways. I'll show you again here in a second. Well, these are the caps for the top. It's not going to go like this, of course. I'm just setting it there until we get these started on. Uh, let's see here what I want to go. Yeah, like this. Just like that. Now, see how far we have to. Something like that. All right. Let me get these screwed in here some, and then I'll bring you back when we're putting the roller on. Okay. Now we're gonna put the, the roller in. Um, now if you want. If you want to use a socket or whatever, you can cut these off. So you can use a socket on it. I try to refrain from doing that. Jesus. Uh, especially on my stuff because if I find a better trailer, I happen to pick up a better trailer, I want to put these rollers off here onto the other trailer. You know, I might have a different setup. And then these might be too short then. But let's go ahead and get these on here. Or this one. Might have run them in a little bit too much. Just a smidgen too much. So, let's loosen one of these up. Might help us. Since I've got them crossed, this side actually meets with that and that. So it's kind of like an X pattern. So, let's 
shouldn't take much. Just, you know, trial and error on something like this. Because remember, you're kind of fabricating this to fit your trailer. Because all trailers are different, you know. You can have two identical trailers, but there could be something different about them. Oops. So, alright. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to lower that roller down. It's not going to be that big of a deal. So I'm just going to snug this up here. Just so it don't move. And I'll show you what I mean about this roller that I need to I need to bring it down. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. The roller needs to come down. See, it's barely touching that. This is what you want to be here. So I'm gonna have to lower this down here some. <coughs> Excuse me, which I'm surprised they didn't make this more, you know, um, adjustable for different boats. But anyway. So let me go ahead and get these snugged up because they're about where I want them. Let me get them snugged up and then we'll move on to this. Okay, I got this tightened about where I want it. Okay, and I still got plenty of threads down there. So what I gotta do, what I was telling you, this needs to be, I want this part to be about right here. So I'm gonna lower this down as far as I can go with it and drill a couple new holes. So, yeah, I'm surprised they didn't make this more adjustable with more holes either in here or in this thing. So, I don't know. Um, I'm definitely going to have to make the holes in here. But that's okay. No biggie. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. As you can see, it's fairly straightforward. I wish the rest of it I could tell you was straightforward, but it's not because... Your trailer may different, be a lot different from mine. And like I said, every trailer is different. You might have two identical trailers, but you put two different boats on it, you may have to adjust these and put these different places. So like I said, you gotta use your head. But, uh, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. We'll get these holes marked where they need to be. And then we'll draw them out. Okay guys, so I loosened this up so I can adjust to where I need to be for my rollers. So, now remember, if you guys go, well I want plenty of room here. That's understandable, you're going to want some room, you don't want it right up against it. But if you're out two inches on this side and you put the other one out two inches, that's four inches of play. So if you if you load your trailer, you're clear up against this one, that means your trailer's gonna be all four inches on the other side. That's too much for this boat. I'm gonna go about a half an inch on each side. That'll give me an inch if I'm over too far one way or the other. Because sometimes, if you get, uh, there's a, there's a boat ramp right down the road here, and that lake is hard. People have trouble all the time getting in and out of there, and it's just, it's kind of a pain for that reason. So, it's hard to get your boat on straight, all that jazz, you know. So, I'm going to get these tightened up. 
I had to make round holes because I couldn't make square holes so I'm gonna have to get vice grips or something on here to hold this because these are locking nuts I may just find me a couple nuts I'll need four of them that'll go on there and put a lock washer on so let me go see what I got okay so are you in frame now I'm gonna straighten this up I'm gonna go one pinky my right pinky uh, that's about where I'm gonna go there now I'm gonna tighten these bolts back up down here and this side will be all done Ugh, must I share my mouth okay so that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to jump to the other side. I'm not going to bore you with it because the other side is just going to be a mirror image of this. About one pinky. Uh, we'll see how it loads and unloads. I, I'll carry a wrench with me and I can always adjust it if need be right there at the ramp. So it's no big deal. Okay, so there's what they look like tightened up. Like I said, you can cut them off if you want. I just like to have the versatility of getting them you know in case I want to switch these to another trailer so yeah uh, I would have had this done the other day but we had like three days of rain and the other day it got really bad well I was gonna do some more work on the boat but as you can see man we are flooded Thunder, lightning, check it out. Had another little tree come down, which I was going to cut down anyway for the neighbors, but. So, yeah. All right, let's move on. Okay, guys, so we got this side done. We got our little caps on there. Uh, those will probably be coming back off because I'm going to extend these up a little bit higher Maybe another 18 inches 20 inches and I'm going to put I'm going to get rid of them lights I'm going to get the smaller ones And put on top those are just too long to be sticking out and uh, Same way with on this side Well, that should be about right. So yeah, if it if it's one way or the other, it's not going to be enough to where the trailer's sitting real super crooked. And these, according to my measurements, are out wider than this. So it should come off okay and go on okay. If I got to do some adjustment down at the ramp, you know, I'll just take a wrench with me and I'll do the adjustment down there. Sometimes you got to do that. But this should be pretty close, I think. So there you go. That's how you put them on. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go in, get warm, or yeah, warmed up, really. I'm going to go in and get cooled down. This is what I was telling you about there. They can either crisscross or be side by side. Depends on your thing. But I, you can't be real specific on how to do this. Because like I said, you might have two identical trailers with two different boats on them. So you're going to put them on different. They're going to adjust to the boat. They don't adjust to the trailer. But that's, you know, enough to get you started. Now you kind of know, you got an idea of how to put them things on they're real simple when I extend these up and move the lights up oh bring you along with me for that uh, you can also get those big tall ones that um, they're PVC but man I, why does it work 
that's what I did, you know, trailers. Just probably two or three a week come in, need new ones, they'd break them off. Because they're galvanized so far up and then the rest is, and, and they get beat up. I mean, you're going to beat these things up, so make sure they're tight. But, uh, you know, they'd be breaking them off and stuff. And so mostly what a lot of guys would do, they'd be, can you extend that up so it's metal a little higher? and a couple times you can buy just the rollers a couple times on the bigger boats they had me put the rollers up here because you know like the side of their boat would be this high so they'd have me put the rollers up here so anyway guys there's just so many different ways you can do that it's real easy like i said this is your main tool up here um so I'll bring you along with me when we get it out on the water. I don't know if we're going to go today or not. Hell, it's 92 degrees out. So, 91, 92-ish. So, I'm going to cool down. And I want to say thanks for coming along with me, guys. I appreciate it. And stay tuned for when we get the boat out. And check and make sure there's no water coming in. So, we're getting there. <laughs> Thanks for coming along with the, for the ride with us, man. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000 channel. Appreciate it. Thanks, Monkey, and thanks you guys. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye, and take care.